Today we're going to talk about respiratory acidosis. What this is, is acidosis, meaning the body is in an acidic state with low pH and is due to respiratory causes. So I have here um, the three bars that we'll look at to, so we can tell that the patient is in respiratory acidosis. So here's the pH, the CO2, and the bicarb. And I have a, uh, another video that covers this in much more detail. But briefly, uh, I want to do, give two examples. In this case, that the problem presented the patient with a pH of 7.3, so that's going to be on the acidic side. CO2 of 50, which is also on the acidic side. And a bicarb of 24, which is just kind of here. It's in the normal limits. So you can see the pH and the respiratory uh, measurement are both on the acidic side. That's how you know it's acidic due to respiratory causes. Another example, you can see a pH is 7.27. That's also on the acidic side. CO2 is 51, which is also on the acidic side. And the bicarb is 28, which is over here on the basic side. The two that match are acidic and acidic. So the patient is acidic and, the, and it is due to respiratory causes, the CO2. The only difference between these two is you can see the bicarb is the outlier. That's just a telltale sign that the, uh, the body is trying to compensate but clearly they're still acidic, so they're not quite there yet. So this is an example. So what causes respiratory acidosis? So the patient has a high CO2 level. Well, what's happening is the patient isn't getting adequate uh, breathing and ventilation um, for a, a variety of causes. A uh, patient may have respiratory depression. Perhaps they overdose on medications. Perhaps um, they have some sort of poisoning. They can have airway obstruction, maybe they're choking and they're not able to breathe and they got something stuck in their throat. It's causing them to not breathe and get that CO2 out. Perhaps there's decreased chest expansion due to obesity or the guy's trapped under a tree. Or alveolar capillary obstruction such as pulmonary uh, embolisms, which are blood clots in the lungs. Or uh, pulmonary effusions, which would be uh, fluid on the lungs and in, the, in those areas. So the underlying cause here you can see is increased CO2. Remember, carbon dioxide is carbon diacid. So high carbon dioxide levels lead them to this acidosis. So some signs and symptoms. One I want to point out, the cause of this acidosis is the patient's not getting adequate breathing. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not having a high respiratory rate. They could be, they could be in tachypnea, which is a respiratory rate, up in the 30s or 40s, but nothing is exchanging. There's no airway exchange, so there's still going to be an acidosis. So when I say tachypnea, it could also be that they're not breathing enough. If they're not breathing at all, they have respiratory depression, that can also lead to decreased exchange and cause their CO2 levels to rise. Tachycardia, this is typically because the patient's running out of oxygen, the heart's trying to compensate, and so it's going to be beating faster. Eventually, though, when it gets too acidic and it starts tiring out, it doesn't have enough oxygen, it can go to bradycardia. The patient's also going to be pale and cyanotic, which are telltale signs. They're not getting enough oxygen. Um, with any of these disorders, acidosis or alkalosis, you're going to see dysrhythmia. So just remember that. Things in the body aren't right. The heart's not beating right. And the patient at first is going to feel like they're suffocating, so they can be anxious. But once their O2 levels drop, the brain doesn't have enough, they'll be confused, and eventually they could lead to a coma. So the treatment for respiratory acidosis is you find out which of these is the cause and you pinpoint that. Um, so if they're having a medication overdose, you might need to give them an antidote. If they have a, have a pulmonary embolism, well, you need to figure out the solution for that. But for almost any of these, you want to give them oxygen, whether it's nasal cannula or uh, some sort of a mask, um, some medications to help their lungs work better position them upright so they're able to get uh, bigger breaths and you want to make sure that they have a patent airway if they got a piece of broccoli beef and broccoli stuck in their throat you're going to want to get it out so they can breathe so uh, for this disorder and all of these uh, acid based mouse disorders you find the cause and you need to treat that specifically so this is respiratory acidosis